Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing five things that we need to just like leave in 2017. Like just don't bring it to 2018. So um, yeah, just going to be doing that. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing that needs to be left in 2017 and just not just doesn't need to come back is overdrawing your lips. Now what I mean by this is obviously or whatever you just do it on the line like that like around the line some people decide to go way over so it's onto their skin to make it look like they have lips for example use a random nyx lip pencil that i have they do things like this And they do it like that so it looks like they have big lips obviously I, they fill it in i'm not gonna fill it in because that takes too long but they fill it in oh god i've got a purple lip line on my lip <laughs> so they fill it in that to make the lips look like they're bigger than, than they actually are and it's just it's horrible we can see it please don't do it <laughs> and if you do it please stop and now i've got a purple line on my lips number two now this is one I think we can all relate to and it's spending unnecessary money. Spending money you don't need to spend, spending money that I guess perhaps maybe you don't have and things like that. Uh, this year I've started actually working and obviously you know it's, not, it's the first job um, and it's cool you know it's like a source of income and uh, but like, I'm guilty of just spending for no reason, just buying ridiculous things, uh, just buying endless phone cases. I've got about four or five phone cases that I've just bought online, <laughs> just so I have choices and things like that. So I would definitely say for 2018, spending unnecessary money, quite out. You can use that money to buy other things, you can use it for savings, put it down for a house, a mortgage, things like that. Just more important things. You don't really need to spend money on like phone cases and stuff and crepes and clothes and gums. You just don't need to do it. And for those of you who don't know, gums are like clothing and the materialistic stuff basically. <laughs> Three. Uh, comparing yourself to people on social media. Now I think this is a big issue, especially in 2017. Obviously, you know, you have all the like couples on Instagram and you have people on Instagram who do this like clothing stuff and they make their lives look like amazing and stuff and you just think, man, why couldn't my life be so great? So I think moving forward, um, not comparing yourself to people on social media is a big thing and it's really important because people on social media, the way they portray their lives, more times not how they actually live. So you're trying to live up to somebody else's standard which they're not even living at themselves. If you get what I'm saying, so I think we shouldn't compare ourselves to people on social media. In fact, we should just be like happy with what we have, who we have around us, what we've got, you know, be grateful to be alive, even because there are a lot of people who, you know, dropped out this year. And um, obviously, rest in peace to all of those people, but shouldn't compare ourselves to people on social media because more time that's not even their lifestyle, they just do it for the ground. So I think you should just be yourself enjoy you know your like you you know who you are and what you have to offer and things like that don't really pay too much attention to people on social media because it's not it's not always what it seems to be honest and things like relationship goals as well shouldn't idolize those because you don't know what their relationship is like behind closed doors you don't know what their relationship is like um you know that at different times you know you, you can't tell who somebody is from social media and things they say or they show because obviously everyone wants to make themselves look as good as they can on the internet so you can't really believe everything off the internet if that's a way to put it so yeah things like relationship goals it's pointless you know create your own uh, ideal or your own standard of relationship goals if you wish but don't idolize other people's because it's not always like that behind closed doors. Uh, number four which I think we should really get rid of in 2017 to 18 oh my god I'm doing it already to 18 is mumble rap now if you know what mumble rap is um, 
I would suggest you listen to people like Lil Pump for an idea. Um, it's just rap, that's absolute trash, and it just it's just there's no real words it's just mumbles and it's just absolute nonsense absolutely stupid i know so um mumble rap i'm sick of it and i'm sick of people saying oh yeah mumble rap's the best mumble rap's the best and then you talk about real rap and they're like oh no it's dead it's dead are you serious like what so mumble rap is definitely something we should leave in 2017 um, no more, no more. And number five, which I think we should really, maybe not perhaps fully leave in 2017, but we should reduce into 18 is the use of Gucci. Now, I love designer as much as the next guy. I'm not gonna lie, I love designer, I love Michael Kors, I love Louis Vuitton, Gucci, you know, Prada, you know, all of that. I love all of it and I've got my little bits and pieces that I love. Oh, and Moschino, I love Moschino. But, 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 this year, 2017 in particular, I feel Gucci has just been rinsed to the fullest. I don't know why or just, I don't really know, but Gucci this year has just been another level. Everything has been about Gucci this year and it has just been so annoying seeing Gucci every five seconds and then songs about Gucci and then just people just coming out in these entire Gucci outfits and the like, catchphrases now and you know like everything Gucci oh life's Gucci and it, it, um, Gucci got really annoying this year I can't lie everything was Gucci this year and it was just like I love Gucci but I actually started to get sick of hearing about Gucci and sick of seeing Gucci it just became a nightmare <laughs> so I would say in 2018 let's not completely get rid of Gucci because I like Gucci but let's keep it to um, a minimum not too too much Gucci like we did this year because this year was ridiculous for Gucci I'm not even gonna lie so yeah <laughs> We just bring that to a minimum but um yeah other than that i think 2017 hasn't been that bad there hasn't been any like much ridiculous stuff except from also this is an extra one uh number six braided brows were absolutely ridiculous braided eyebrows why who i don't know who decided to like start this up who even decided to experiment with it but braided brows i'm so glad they they've they, they've gone they're, they're gone they've had their time they're not coming back and they're gone no more braided eyebrows because it's a joke and it looks so stupid it's so ridiculous so that's definitely one thing i'm glad is gone and i hope it never comes back and squiggly eyebrows as well that's another one i didn't get that one either i personally just felt they looked ridiculous um would never wear them outside so i don't really understand but they were just weird and really weird and I just didn't really get it so um, I'm really glad that those are gone and they're not coming back fingers crossed because you don't know what 218 will come with but 217 hasn't been that bad in comparison to 216 with the contouring of the cleavage area and the contouring of the knees and stuff like that it's just just been really 2017 has been okay in comparison to previous years and some of the trends I saw then like those little chicken boots that were see-through and your feet like people's feet looked really sweaty and smelly in them yeah those weren't nice those were those were disgusting actually <laughs> those shoes were so gross and they weren't very fashionable either so yeah and then what else was there before there was um the highlighting over highlighting so sort of highlight here matte highlight here here oh here things like that was just like okay that's a bit too much so 217 hasn't been all that bad but it's had its fair share of trends that kind of need to get up and leave you know but, but um yeah in all fairness um it hasn't been that bad this year hopefully you know 218 is a nice you know blessed year for everybody um and yeah so 
uh, this video is probably gonna go up fingers crossed day before New Year's so I uh, just want to wish you all a happy new year um, and I hope for all of you 2018 is filled with love, blessings, happiness, good health, you know, all of that, good company, good food <laughs> and all of that good stuff so yeah so um, that's the end of the video guys uh, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel um, and yeah thanks for watching bye